My whole Brazilian vocabulary is tudo bem and muito obrigado. Uh, Brazil? I'm not sure it counts for, uh, for another one. Yes! Hey guys, salut, this is Alex and today I'm going to show you how to make a Brazilian version of the almighty French crepe Suzette. It's absolutely fine if you don't know what a crepe Suzette is, but in that case, just check out the previous video, how to make crepe Suzette. The classic recipe calls for oranges, lemon, caramel and brandy. So to twist the recipe, all you need to do is to shift the flavors to Brazil. You see? Easy. It's not? Okay, let me show you how. First off, make some crepes. Mm, it's some kind of a mandatory step, you know. Then, lightly peel a lime to get the skin, but try to get the least amount of white part as it's the bitter one. Cut the skin into thin stripes. Open a can of pineapple in juices, not in syrup, and get the juices out. Add a squeeze of lime. Set aside. Place a frying pan over medium-high heat and drop in a few tablespoons of sugar. Let it melt slowly without even touching as soon as the sugar is melted and start to take a light caramel color, pour in the pineapple juice. Add the lime zest and stir until everything is nicely combined. Cook it for a few minutes in order to concentrate the flavors. Add a shot of an iconic Brazilian alcohol called Cachaça. Cachaça! Cachaça! Anyone? Okay? Mystery food of the universe! Cachaça is a popular Brazilian spirit made from sugarcane juice. It's the alcohol in the famous Caipirinha cocktail. And now you can flambe. If you want to do it safely, then watch my video on how to flambe safely. I know it's a bit of a repetition, but you know, uh, it makes sense. When all the flames have disappeared, pour in some coconut milk and cook everything for a few minutes. So like in my classic recipe, instead of adding tons of butter to thicken the sauce, I'm choosing to add a teaspoon of cornstarch diluted in a bit of water. It will work the same minus the calories. Turn off the heat and coat each crepe in that sweet sauce. Fold them into quarters and keep them in the pan so they stay moist, nice and warm. Crush a few cashew nuts and add bits of pineapple on top. Those French slash Brazilian crepes Suzette are more tangy than the classic one because of the lime of course, yet they are also more mellow because of the coconut milk. So by the way, it's my first time cooking with cachaça, cachaça, and it works great. Okay, so guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this twisted version of the crepe Suzette. If you like this twist, watch the original video, how to make a French crepe Suzette. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, then give it a like, thumbs up, and share that over on your social media. Don't forget to subscribe to the video for more delicious and twisted recipes. Bye-bye, salut!